In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us pray the Memorari together. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, or left unaided, in spite of this confidence, if flying to you, virgin of virgins, our mother, to you do we come before we stand, sinful and sorrowful, O mother of the word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. Thank you, Lord for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for the protection that we have experienced last night. Thank you, Lord, for giving this wonderful day to us. Lord, at this time we come in adoration before you, seeking for your help and assistance in all that we go through in all that we are going through and all that we are going to do during the day. Lord, we ask you to keep us away from those worries, tensions and anxieties which become an hurdle in life to proceed. Lord, we ask you to bless our families, our communities, our way of life. Bless us with that dignity which we need to live with each other. Lord, bless our brothers and sisters who are suffering in Manipur, in Haryana, and other parts of the country and the world. We pray for those who are persecuted in the name of Christ. We pray for all the people who are suffering, who are dying, and who have lost their near and dear ones. Lord, at this time we pray to you for each one of us present for this morning prayer. We seek for your healing and deliverance, Lord. We seek for your blessings in abundance. We come, enter the gates of your kingdom. We knock at your heart to make us merciful, compassionate towards others by receiving your mercy and compassion. Let us take the hymn A73 on page 31 from the Joyful Lips. And we sing together. Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your hearts. Enter his courts with prayer. Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your hearts. For he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your hearts, for he has made me glad. Sing to the Lord and make music unto him. Sing to the Lord with praise. Sing to the Lord and make music unto him. For he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your hearts. For he has made me glad. Dear brothers and sisters, let us take the Psalm 76 for remembering the works of the Lord in our life. 
and defend. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is great as our God. I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my distress I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled, I could not sleep. I thought of the days of long ago and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart. I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he show us his favor no more? Has his love vanished forever? Has his promise come to an end? Does God forget his mercy or in anger withhold his compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy, what God is great as our God. You are the God who works wonders. You show your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O Lord, the waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The skies sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled down the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the sea. Your path through the mighty waters and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Your ways, O God, are holy, what God is as great as our God. Dear brothers and sisters, let us take Psalm 96 the glory of God in his judgments. Let us pray for our intentions, especially pray for those who need God's judgments, God's justice, God's healing deliverance, especially those who are suffering due to court cases and disputes, property matters, husband and wife, broken relationships and we go to court and we do not have proper judgments made. We seek for God's judgments and help. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne justice and right. A fire prepares his path, it burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth trembles at the night. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all peoples see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed. Those who boast of their worthless gods, all your spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. 
light shines forth for the just and joy for the upright of heart rejoice you just in the lord give glory to his holy name glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the lord is king let earth rejoice dear brothers and sisters let us read from romans chapter 8 verses 35 and 37 for the scripture reading who shall separate us from the love of christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword no in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us the word of the lord thanks be to god my dear brothers and sisters i invite each one of you to pray for deliverance today deliverance for ourselves and deliverance for others when we pray for others we receive graces and blessings in abundance therefore learn to pray for others learn to pray for those whom we do not like and they are sick they are in trouble pray for them god will bless you in abundance that makes a prayer of forgiveness when we pray for those whom we don't like those who are enemies and those who hate us that prayer is more meaningful than our simple prayer god will bless us in abundance in return so we pray for deliverance for others for our family members for our neighbors for our enemies for those who hate us and whom we hate let us pray with confidence and the lord will deliver everyone from the evil clutches my lord you are all powerful you are god you are father we beg you through the intercession and help of the archangels michael raphael and gabriel for the deliverance of our brothers and sisters who are enslaved by the evil one all saints of heaven come to our aid from anxiety sadness and obsessions we beg you free us o lord from hatred fornication envy we beg you free us o lord from thoughts of jealousy rage and death we beg you free us o lord from every thought of suicide and abortion we beg you free us o lord from every form of sinful sexuality we beg you free us o lord from every division in our family and every harmful friendship we beg you free us o lord from every sort of spell malefice witchcraft and every form of the occult we beg you free us o lord lord you who said i leave you peace my peace i give you grant that through the intercession of the blessed virgin mary and through the intercession of saint dominic we may be liberated from every evil spell and enjoy your peace always in the name of christ our lord amen thank you lord for your blessings for the deliverance lord we pray to you together the prayer your son has taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil let us pray Shed your clear light on our hearts, Lord, so that walking continually in the way of your commandments, we may never be deceived or misled. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. 
Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, be blessed through the intercession of our dear mother, Live Jesus.